All right, I'm gonna show you how to change the spark plug on a 300 four-stroke Mercury outboard. So this is a new design here, and uh, they say to change the spark plug every 300 hours. Uh, we have about 210 hours. This one wasn't firing at all cylinders. It was kind of bogging down, running very rough. Um, so our hunch is that uh, we need to replace the spark plug. So we've already done the, the seven spark plugs. So you only need a total of eight because it's a V8. And uh, um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's a couple, couple of tricks that we've learned, but uh, here's the model. Here's the Mercury part number 8M0204737. And there's four in this pack. And then this is an NGK spark plug. They must be made of gold because they're expensive. But here's this, this uh, part number you'll need, LKAR7C-9. Um, so you'll need a few things. You'll need an extender with a 14 millimeter um, socket, and you'll need a little bit of anti-seize as well. So I'll show you that. All right, so the spark plugs are all here. So here's, here's one, two, three, four. And then of course on the other side there's a mirror image of that as well one two three four so right here these things right here are a little bit hard to pull off you need to wiggle them back and forth just like this do not grab a hold of the the uh wire here and you're just gonna rock it back and forth now like i said they were stuck originally so we were able to pull them out so i've already pre-done this one so you have it in there and you can see what this looks like and you can see, and, and there's the spark plug right there. I don't know if you get a good shot of it, but it's in there. So the manual says once you're going to put it back in, you're going to do about a quarter of a turn. Pass hand tight. Here they come. So like I said, the manual says every 300 hours on these spark plugs, but I talked to a mechanic um about the uh, bogging down i just did the 100 hour service and i talked to a mechanic and he said yeah you probably want to do um, the spark plugs he actually says he does them every 100 hours um so here we go we pulled the spark plug out you can look at it it's pretty brown black it's the same spark plug as before lkar 7 c-9 here we go so here's my new spark plug pretty gentle with it the anti seize is going to go on the thread just like that and we're going to put it on there so there you go So they said that usually these are all pre-gapped and you don't have to worry about it. So we're putting it in. Okay, there you go. It's just All right, so so that's pretty much hand tight right there. Nice to do a quarter of a turn. Pretty snug right there. Not over tightening it. And then we are going to take the towel. Always good to have these towels on hand. Make sure it's nice and clean. Right there. There you go. And we're gonna slide it right in there. It'd be helpful if I took this out, right? No problem. Clean this up. Slide this guy right in there. And we're gonna push it right in and you'll feel it pop. So I just felt that pop. I'm gonna place this wire right through here. Just like that. Nice and snug in there. There's not one there. And so there you go, that's how to change it. So pretty easy. And you needed the extender as well. So this is just your typical Craftsman wrench. And we were able to get it done really quick and easy. 
um, as far as putting the and I, I so you you already saw this this is and as far as just putting the the lid back on it it's pretty easy to put the cowling back on but uh, if you want to see us fishing and using these engines and uh, running the boat uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this video we got a lot of good content coming up all right so we just ran the boat after changing the spark plugs all eight on the 300 mercury four stroke and let me tell you what night and day difference it stopped running rough uh, fuel economy improved drastically i'm talking like 50 percent it seemed on the screen that i have uh, the fuel gauge it tells you how many uh, miles per gallon you're getting um, so we've been really happy so this was changing in early prematurely than the 300 hours that mercury recommends and uh, i probably would recommend doing it every 200 hours or even sooner um, or at least having a spare set uh, it's pretty easy to do we're not very mechanically inclined and we were able to knock it out so uh, we could do basic stuff so this was a, um, a win for us so i recommend you also bring along some latex gloves anytime you're doing maintenance items it's helpful to you know use gloves to keep the grease off your hands as well as bringing in using some shop rags uh, keeps the parts clean and if you're pulling off a part uh, take your time when doing this task and um, you know it's fairly easy uh, we'll 